we discovered a map in English here. Look at this. So where have you been so far? Tokyo, Yokohama, no, Nagoya, baby, no. tomorrow we go to Osaka. <laughs> okay. I want to know. Osaka. What about the map? It's not a map. These colors on the ground indicate what is the correct line you want to get. There are multiple trains here, not just the one you want. Very organized. Hello again from Nagoya, Japan. Today we're starting the day in one of the most venerated shrines in the entire country. This one right here. It's called Atsuta Jingu. Wow, it's like you're entering a totally different world. Look at this. Where to? Look at this. Gord, you figured it out? You understood all the map? No. <laughs> Okay, so what's your best bet? That way? <coughs> that way? I guess more people going that way, huh? Mm -hmm. Learn Japanese, come on! <laughs> this is a Shinto shrine, so remember all the Shinto traditions I explained in the Tokyo videos. No information here in English at all, but I imagine this might be explaining why this shrine is so important. And here's the reason. In Japan, they have three sacred treasures. These are very important culturally, historically, of national importance for Japanese people. And one of these treasures is located right here in this shrine. It's a sword. The other treasures are a mirror located in a shrine in the city of Izi nearby. And the last treasure is a jewel that is inside the Imperial Palace in Tokyo. These treasures represent three virtues. Courage, the sword, wisdom, the mirror, and benevolence, the jewel. We discovered a map in English here. Look at this. <laughs> you want to be possessive about the map? <laughs> That's fine. It just means you have to guide me. <laughs> so where have you been so far? Tokyo, Yokohama, no, Nagoya. Baby, no, baby, no. Tomorrow we go to Osaka. <laughs> okay. I want to know. Osaka. What about the map? It's not a map. Personal charm. Wow. 10 bucks, isn't it? Yeah. Like in other Shinto shrines, here you can buy amulets, check your fortune. You want to check your fortune? No. No. Yeah. I'm fortunate already. Mm -hmm. Look where I am. Yeah, so am I. There's also a museum here too, but if you're expecting to see the sword here, no. Nobody can see it. Only the emperor and very few priests. There are not even pictures of the sword or the other two treasures. But just knowing that it is here already makes this place very special for Japanese people. No way, there's a heart there. Wow. The only thing I could understand is that this is a weapon from the 15th century. Inside the museum, you cannot film anything. Entry is 300 yen. Wow! Look at this place! This is not a closed mall. We're in the streets. Lost? No. I'm just waiting for it to take. It's either this way or is it down one more? In Nagoya, you can also see some other important temples and shrines. So we came here to the neighborhood of Osu to check out a few. And it is so interesting. We arrived in this huge shopping area. Many, many stores everywhere you look. In between the stores, you see a few temples like this one here. This is Bangshuji, very different one. Oh, 
is gonna be where you find the best deals in Nagoya, based on the amount of people. Here, you need a jacket like this to be a professional photographer. I don't want to be professional. No? Total amateur the rest of my life. <laughs> Look at this, how interesting. It's for you to hang bottles like this, and then you can hang on a belt or your purse. It's kind of expensive, huh? Ten dollars? Oh, what is this? Might be for a belt. Not a tax free shop here. He said this all over Japan. To be able to enjoy this, you gotta have your passport. So always carry your passport here in Japan. A shrine here. Fuji Sengen Shrine. Charming, huh? Yes. It's lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Not shrine. you, it's the shrine. Oh, <laughs> oh baby. Look at this door. The tiny door. Ah. Alice on Wednesday. <laughs> You can barely see what they have to offer. When you walk into the end of the shopping street, you arrive at another temple here. This is Osukanum, the main temple in this area. Osukanum is a Buddhist temple from the 13th or 14th centuries, but the interesting thing is that it was not built here. It was relocated here because of flooding in the previous area. This temple is really big, and here they have a collection of 15,000 classic Chinese and Japanese books. One book in particular here is very important. It's from the 1300s, called The Record of Ancient Matters, and it describes the ancient mythological history of Japan. After a short train ride, we arrive here at Nagoya Station. This is probably the main station here in Nagoya. And actually, this is the world's largest train station by floor area. It is enormous. You won't believe the number of things you can do in or around this station here. This is where we arrived via Shinkansen, and our hotel is within walking distance. And there are so many shops and restaurants right here. It is really amazing. Everything interconnected, so you don't even need to worry about weather. Look at these brands. This is a major department store here. Occupies several stories. Look at how cool every train station in Japan you find lockers like this. And people really use. See, all these here, they're all full. 400 yen. And these are not very big. They won't fit a carry-on. You see the size compared to my hand. Look for an empty locker. Look at how many they are. So this one here, where we are, is full, but all the green ones are empty. I can find space over there. Let's step outside for you to understand why this station is massive. If you're in search of views, there are lots of restaurants and cafes in all these buildings here with amazing views. We're in search of a view too, but we're going to a proper observatory. It's in that building over there. And actually, didn't even need to come out here. Just came to show you around. It's all interconnected, underground. Before, let's go back inside to get something to eat. Entire food alley here. So many little restaurants. Lines in every single restaurant here. 
gonna try another specialty here in Nagoya. It's their miso sauce. It's their typical sauce here. Normally you eat with pork. So this is miso katsu. Yeah. Arigato gozaimasu. Ah. What can you tell? Good? Yeah. Dish comes with rice and the soup and cabbage. Gordon's dish only came with the soup. This sauce is wow. A little bit of soy. It reminds me of shoyu a little, but also sweet. What does this sauce remind you? It reminds me of shoyu. Yeah. Mine I kind of ordered by mistake. In the picture it appeared to have the miso sauce too, but I don't think it does here. Not like corners at least. But whatever this is, it tastes like chicken. It is really, really soft and good. It's so soft. It's really tender. <laughs> Mine definitely tastes different from yours, but both are good. Both are really good. I think I even prefer his because his is very unique. Mine is fantastic, delicious, but I feel like I could eat this anywhere in the world. His is very unique to hear. It's a totally different taste. Both dishes might actually have miso, but they taste different because mine is on chicken and Gordon's is on pork. But both are fantastic. Here. Could have guessed that train station food could be so good in Japan, huh? Yes, it is. It is. You must try. Yes, absolutely. It's not very cheap either, you know, it is $30. It's like a regular restaurant. Yeah. But it's not burgers. Not burgers, definitely not. Yeah, they have really not good French food. Fries. No, <laughs> they have really good food here everywhere you go. I'm out of here. Ciao. <laughs> Tickets yet? Credit card? Only, Only cash? Okay. Arigato gozaimasu. It's so modern. <laughs> Everything's so modern. Just need to accept credit cards now. <laughs> Seriously, a lot of tourist attractions and restaurants in Japan don't. Beautiful. The Twin Towers right here. But it's that far. No, it's so close, right here. But it's that far. It's not far, it's right here. <laughs> So you should definitely pick a good day to come here, because look at this, not covered. <laughs> this is actually the highest open air observation deck in the entire Japan. Perfect timing, huh? Beautiful sky today. You can see all the way to the bay here. There's the Shinkansen coming. That's a bullet train. Look at the speed compared to a regular train. But this is not full speed yet. We just left the station. It's one after the other. They don't stop.
If you're just arriving here on my channel, watch another video. Nagoya is the third city we visit here in Japan. So I'm leaving this playlist here with videos also in Tokyo and Yokohama. And tomorrow we're going to Osaka, so see you there. If you like this video, if you thought it was useful to you, let me know. Click the button. How did you enjoy your day with that was me great in Nagoya? Day. It was a great day in Nagoya. Ready for Osaka? Some sake? Osaka? Oh, yeah. Sake too? Both. <laughs> I love this elevator. It is so fast. It doesn't serve beer. <laughs> Who would have guessed the train station food could be so good, huh? Gotta try strange, strange, strange taste and food and train in Japan. Yay! What are you talking about? I'm tongue twisted. I can't speak. Stores for you. No, that stores for you. Stores for you. Oh my God! Who names a store selfish? Do you want a personal charm? You don't need. You have one. Oh. This one. Escape this. Escape the disaster. I can't believe you're calling me a disaster. That one. Find a lovely one now. <laughs> I am public in the mirror. <laughs> Look in the mirror? Did you talk about yourself? <laughs> You're so Mostly bad. Jubilee, God. You're so bad today. Are you following me? Real quick. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wow, you can see the washing machine status here. Let's see, let's see what it shows. Oh my, look at this one. 30 minutes, 30 minutes have passed. Closer, they're waiting. <laughs> Two vacant and one, still 41 minutes to go. That is so cool. So you just go down if you know that you have a machine to use. How nice.